Hi there, Simon from simonwood.com. Uh, a couple of Chardonnays here. Uh, one from uh, one side of the Atlantic, one from the other side. Um, and actually, one's closer to the Pacific probably than the Atlantic. But anyway, I'll, I'll tell you what they are. Uh, I've got a Spanish one and a Californian one. I think the Californian one's probably going to be slightly higher oak, 13 and a half, uh, sorry, um, alcohol. 13% for the Spanish one, 13 and a half for the, uh, uh, the Californian, so not much in it. I'm going to do the Spanish one first. And the Spanish one is Jean Léon, uh, a man, a time, a wine, since 1963. Um, and it's, uh, the, 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 it's got this 3055 on there. The vintage, that's not the vintage, it's not been made several uh, uh, centuries hence. Uh, vintage is 2014 and it's from Penedes. Uh, the number 3055 is taken from Jean Léon's New York taxi license revealing to us the man behind the legend, the humble origins of an idealist who achieved his dream of founding Hollywood's most famous restaurant and producing a wine with his own name. Well, let's just dig in and uh, see where we get to. Smells uh, quite rich, rounded. Um, it, it reminds me of, I hesitate to say yesterday's wine. Uh, there is a oily pineapple chunk and uh, the, the sort of juices that you get with, uh, with in tinned fruit, tinned peaches, tin tin pears. That type, no, maybe not tinned pears. The pineapple ju juice and, and, and peaches. Um, it, it's it, it smells like it's going to have quite a lot of full, rich, fleshy flavour. But in terms of subtlety, I don't think that's what it's going to be about. And it's got a bit of lemony zip to it, um, but uh, yes, this broader, peachier flavour. That's what it's. Uh, that, 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 that's the the main thing there. It's it, it's it's not the warmest part of of, of Spain, but it is um, Penedes. Uh, this is a bit. It's pretty close to Barcelona, Carver country, if you want to call it that. Um, uh, there's no shortage of of sunshine, and you do get that slight, uh, yeah, friendly, juicy. Hello, here I am. Uh, ever so slightly simple style. It's okay, um, lots of flavour, can't fault it for depth of flavour, but maybe quality of flavour, I'm looking for a little bit more subtlety. Let's see if we get that in the second wine, which is La Crema, uh, Sonoma Coast, 2014 Chardonnay. And uh, let's give this one a whirl. <laughs> it's funny, I, I, I didn't say anything about oak on the Jean Léon. Uh, I didn't notice uh, there being a huge oak imprint. I've got a feeling that it would have been somewhere near a barrel, uh, but it's, uh, oak isn't the, uh, the, the main thing here. Whereas when I stick my nose in this uh, in the La Crema, uh, there is this toastiness, um, and it feels like the, the wine behind is a little bit more restrained than the, the Jean Léon was, but the oak is... Um, a little bit too front and centre at the moment. Let's just give it a little swirl and see whether it comes out. And there's this toasty vanilla, almost creamy imprint on quite subtle fruit flavours. Uh, a little touch of um, cashew in there. Uh, some oh, it's more nectarine than than really ripe peach. And maybe there's some ripe apple there and something uh, custard apple like chirimoya if you're in um, if you're if you're, if you're going for your South American uh, versions of the names. Uh, I yeah I I almost wish that they hadn't uh, quite been so it's not heavy-handed with the oak but the oak is definitely making its presence felt. Uh, I don't think it's a wine that I wanted to see unoaked. Um, I think the oak uh, the, the, the the way in which the uh, the, the raw edges of the of the wine have softened in the barrel that is to be welcomed but i think that maybe they have a little bit too much of that new toasty vanilla-ish oak that's um yeah just making its presence felt a little bit too much so both wines good um but uh, not great see you soon